the next uh, part in our section drawings we're going to look at is the sheet here where we've got different types of sections, right? We've already talked about a full section. A half section is where you only have half of the full section showing, and we'll illustrate those. And now we're going to talk about an offset section. And I'll work through a few of these, and we'll keep moving forward to help you out. But this will help build some rhythm in understanding how to draw proper section views. Um, the first tool, the object we're looking at here, is this kind of plate with a couple holes drilled through it. And if we look down in our side view, it's got a raised kind of cylinder uh, formed into it, right? So there's a few elements here that we have to, to consider. One is going to be uh, our offset section, right? Which means the cutting plane line has to go through A, B, and C. And remember, our cutting plane line is that large um, bold line, right, that we use. So that large bold line that may be dashed with an arrow, or it may be a center line if it goes through the center of an object. And you'll see maybe shortly how we'll get that. So the first thing we want to do is draw an offset section through A, B, and C. That means, and I'll lightly sketch this at first, you don't want to go with the dark pencil or the dark pen at first, you want to kind of think through where you're cutting. So we're going to go through A, and the offset section will require us to kind of come down and then through B and C. And the easiest thing is just going to be to follow through this portion here. So we'll go ahead. Now that we've got kind of a basic path we want to follow, we're going to take and we're going to bold in a cutting plane line, right? A section line. some arrows to help signify which direction I'm looking. We'll actually do, we'll look this way. We'll actually look towards this direction. Okay, so when we say that, that basically means we're pretending that all of this part of the object is gone. Right, we're eliminating all of this stuff and we're only drawing all the stuff that's kind of right in here. Okay, so that means we've got to start looking at our side view, right? This is our side view of that object. And we've got to take information from the side view and place it down here on the bottom view to inform our section, right? Because if you look at our side view, we've got hidden lines that project right from the inside of this object. So let's carry these down. That's one thing I'll always do. Add your projection lines. They may help you out. Here's the edges of the drilled holes. the edges of the raised cylinder. And then what we'll do is we'll even carry those down because we want to place those on our bottom section. We've got to draw that from scratch. So I'm going to use this light or this light pin so that it serves as a 4H, right? You could use a very light lead or any kind of light pencil to do this. I'm going to carry down the edges. Carry down the center line. Right, my edge is here. And I'll carry down the center line for these. Now, I've got all these vertical projection lines, but I've got to figure out that boundary, right? That boundary of the object. Well, the, the boundary of the object follows the side view. So if we just take some of that information, 
you can either measure using your pen right, or your pencil and then we can take that and use that elsewhere. Now do, don't forget that there's actually a little curved area here that we need to incorporate and we'll add in And so now what I've done is I've got basically that's the upper portion here, right? These dots I made down here are the lower portion there. And what I'm going to start doing is filling in the side view except I need to show what is being cut and what is not, right? And if there's a drilled hole, remember, that's not going to show any cuts, right? So these little areas here are drilled all the way through. So there's no heavy lines, no cut material. All right, so the first area we're going to show, we're going to start from right to left, or you can start from left to right, but we'll start cutting through the metal here, and that is this portion before the hole. So we can outline that. It's going to look like this with a heavy pencil, heavy pen, right, 2B or 4B, and then we can hatch it because we know that's being cut, right? The next part that's being cut, there's nothing there in there. We're going to go to the area between the two holes, right, B and C, and that's actually a cut area. Right, and we'll hatch accordingly. And then we'll skip after B, and we go all the way from the edge of B to A, right, as a cut. Well, that means we're going to follow along the edge, follow your side view, go up, right, we go over this little lip at the upper part of the raised cylinder, and then it cuts all the way down, because that hole is drilled all the way through, and then we close that loop. Okay, and then the final one, right, we're pretty much there, we've drilled through the entire object, is this little sliver that we're cutting through on the other side of A. And that will look just like this. And of course we come back, we hatch these in, try to be even, all 45 degrees. And you'll be left over with that. Now there's still some missing lines, and the missing lines are the areas in the back of each of these A, B, and C holes. And that'll give you problem 910. We've showed an offset section jogging through all three.